Hi everyone, welcome to another video and this week I want to talk to you guys about why you have that flying elbow in your follow through, also known as the chicken wing. If you enjoyed this video, please ensure to leave a like and if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to see more golf related content. So a very common problem that I see with a lot of amateur players is that after they strike the ball, they have a really excessive amount of bend um, in their lead arm. Um, so which puts their arm in the kind of this position here. So now everyone um, thinks this kind of looks like a chicken wing, which is where that name originally comes from. So I'm going to be going over three reasons as to why this happens and just showing you a few drills that you can do to help get rid of this chicken wing forever. Okay, so the first reason as to why people develop that chicken wing in the follow through is because they don't know how to control the low point in their swing. So whenever I see someone who has a chicken wing, what happens is from the top, when they come down, they early extend out their radius, which is just the distance between the lead shoulder and the club head. Okay, and now that would cause the low point to be too far behind the golf ball. Right, so now in order for them to avoid the ground and hit the ball, they have to break the wrist down and break the arms down just to, to pull the club head further away from the ground. Okay, so if someone does that, where they break the wrist and break the arms down, after they follow through, they continue to have the arm spread out or the lead arm bent and the left wrist kind of cupped. And that way, in the follow through, they develop that chicken wing image right there. So if you do feel like you are a player that struggles with the low point control, I want you to focus on accelerating the butt end of the club as opposed to the club head itself. So again, players that do early extend, what tends to happen is the club head kind of overtakes the wrist um, and then that causes the arms to, or the handle to stay very close to the body um, which causes that lead arm to bend um, and hence the chicken wing. So if you pull up another ball and when you get to the top if you can focus on really moving the grip ahead of the club head through the shot like this right that'll actually train you to get the grip moving faster um, and actually getting the, allowing you the, the, the butt end of the club to stay further away from your body. That should help to keep the arms more extended. Okay, so reason number two for that chicken wing in the fall through is just a lack of extension um, in the upper body. So the extension in the upper body is just a backwards bend move. So it'd be just a kind of a bend forward and, and backwards movement. So players that have a chicken wing can also stay too forward bent in their follow throughs. So if you stay forward bent, in order for your hands to keep going and continue upwards, the only way it can do that is to bend the arms, okay, if your upper body stays forward bent just like this. So what you can work on is ensuring that when you get to the, the finish, that you have, you add more extension or more of a back bend, okay, if you can do that, that'll keep the lead shoulder moving backwards behind you, in this direction, this way and that way you can keep your lead arm um, more extended, a lot easier. What tends to happen is that lead shoulder stops moving and so they're forced to have to bend their arms um, in order to fall through. Okay, so a great drill that you can do for this um, is just a little bit of a variation uh, of, of a drill that's called the belly up drill. Okay, so you'll place um, your, the butt end of your club right into your belly button like this. Okay, so you can see that's right, right into my belly button there. Um, and you'll grip your left hand uh, on, the, on the shaft of the club just until your arm is very, very extended, just like this, okay? So now, you'll stand over the ball, you'll just get in a normal posture, and then you'll just rehearse um, how you're setting up and just going straight into your fall through position like this, okay? And you'll find that if you don't extend or, or bend backwards, right, it'll be very difficult to keep this um, arm extended and, and, and still attached to your belly button. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to keep your arm really, really stiff here. Okay, and then by using your body, okay, by pointing that club high into the air, by bending backwards, okay, you'll, 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 you'll feel like it's very, very easy to keep that left arm extended. Okay, so once you rehearse it a couple times, just like this. Okay, you can actually even put your trail arm on the club just to get a sense and feel um, for that follow through position. Okay? Hope that helps. 
So the third reason as to why you have that chicken wing in the follow through has to do with the path that you're swinging the club. So from the side view, again, players that tend to have uh, a bending in their lead arm tend to be those players that swing too many degrees from outside and across the ball. So what happens when, um, when they do that is that their hands kind of get farther away from their bodies on the downswing and then coming into impact and all the way through, their hands actually get much closer to them in the fall through. So in order for them, their hands to keep going with their hands so close to their bodies in the fall through is that they have to bend their arms um, and, and, and you can see that chicken wing from the side of you there. Okay, so if you can learn to, to really get this cl the club path and the hands to, to exit in the right direction, you will be able to um, keep that left arm more extended in the fall through just like that. Okay, so again, just pay attention to the direction of your hands and the club and the way down. If you're someone that swings it over the top and across the ball, okay, with your hands getting closer to you like that, um, that'll really force you to have to bend your arms very quickly in the fall through. Whereas if you got the club and hands swinging in the right direction, you can see that it's much easier for both of my arms to stay straight. Thanks so much for watching. So if you guys have any questions at all, please leave a comment down below. Be sure to follow me on my Instagram at Jonathan K Moss. Uh, but other than that, like always, I will see you next week.